All right. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, to thank uh, PolyWorks for uh, for the opportunity of uh, having me on the stage and talking about a few of our projects we did with uh, uh, a few of our customers. So basically, the presentation today, I'm going to talk a little bit about AGT, who we are, what we do, and mainly focus on how we integrated PolyWorks in some of the projects. We did many projects with, uh, with PolyWorks, so we decided uh, to talk about three uh, major ones. First one being a side-by-side -side vehicle metrology system for quality control. The second one, hydraulic turbines uh, robotic cutting, where we actually scan an, a huge part to uh, control the robotic path after that. And the third project being uh, what we call the bridge master. So we replaced a, a manual laydown of the bridge girders to a virtual fitting and a virtual laydown, basically. So the goal, the, the main goal of the presentation is uh, to explain basically the role of PolyWorks. I'm not going uh, in, the, in real details on what the macros we use and anything, but just to see, to give you another uh, perspective on how we can use PolyWorks and automated solutions. And when I say automated, it's really inline, no operators, nobody looking at the, the point cloud. So it's really automated when one part is over, a second one, uh, is, uh, is in, enters the line and is, uh, is treated. So, of course, we use it for quality control. We use the metrology functions, but one of our niche at AGT is to use uh, PolyWorks and the 3D scanners and vision systems for process control. So instead of waiting at the end of the line to inspect the parts and uh, reject it, so it's to inspect the part at different stages to guide the future, the future steps or future processes that needs to be done on this, uh, on this particular part. So a few words about AGT. Uh, as, I want, uh, as it was mentioned, I'm uh, one of the co-founders of Aorus. We were a vision specialized uh, integrator. And uh, we started doing 3D projects with 3D scanners uh, back in 2003. Uh, actually controlling CNC machines, modifying G-codes for uh, laser uh, drilling applications. And uh, so we merged with AGT in 2010 because in 2006, 2007, we started doing very nice projects combining vision systems along with robotics in the metallic uh, sector. So that's how we got to know AGT and uh, uh, we married in 2010. Um, so AGT is located about an hour west of uh, Enav Metrics uh, head office in Quebec. So we're in Trois Rivières, and I I work out of the Montreal office, which is another hour uh, west. We have a team of about 65 people, mostly engineers, programmers, and uh, so we handle the projects from from A to Z. Our main focus is on the metallic sector, so. Typically heavy fabrication, structural steel, very large parts. Of course, we did some jobs in automotive sector, transportation, and uh, other applications. So our line card basically uh, includes standard products like the Beam Master, which is a three robot solution that includes eight 3D scanners uh, where we digitize everything every time there is a process, we rescan to make sure we don't accumulate errors. So we have the fit and weld version that includes three robots, a multi-million solution. And we have the Beam Master Weld that handles the weld only, much uh, an entry level uh, solution. We have also a Gouge Master. Uh, it's a portable robotic solution for, to prepare plates, for joining plates, for splicing and stuff like that. And we also partnered with the Creaform uh, to develop the scan master, that is when we take care of the mechanical and the robotic aspect to integrate the Metroscan R scanner in there to make a uh, shop floor metrology uh, station. Of course, we also do custom equipment. So we start from a blank page and imagine a solution and create it. So it goes from hard automation to standard robotics to robotic that includes SLT, which is a patented technology 
SLT stands for self-learning technology. So basically, it automates the programming uh, part, uh, the programming of a robot. So basically, starting either from a CAD or a 3D scan, robotic path will be, uh, collision-free robotic path will be created to do all kind of process, welding, cutting, grinding, sandblasting, and so on. So what's special when, what's different when we use Polyworks within an automated solution? Many things are different. First of all, uh, the point cloud acquisition is totally automatic. So from, uh, from, from the first step to actually calling, automating, uh, automating the macro calling process, that's automatic. We need to live with uh, outliers, with uh, glares, with all kind of uh, point, points that are out there. So we need to automatically clean the point cloud. That's a second uh, thing we need to, to take care of. Macros have to be called automatically, of course. And one of the, uh, the main aspects is it's time restricted. So even though some applications we have a few minutes, sometimes a few 10 minutes, 20 minutes, but most applications are between five seconds and 30 seconds. So we need to capture fast, we need to analyze fast, give an answer fast. Uh, and of course, the results out of the, uh, of the, out of the analysis it's more than giving a report, even though we usually do it, but it's to use that information to guide robots, to guide uh, CNC machines, to guide future processes down the line. So the main benefits of using Polyworks, of course, 100 inspection is the, the, the main benefit. So instead of doing sampling, just taking one part out of 30 out of 50, well, you can increase that sampling rate and in inspect some of the times 100% of the parts. No operators are needed. Of course, that's where the, uh, the return on investment uh, is, uh, is great. And it's the, the set of tools that is available to us integrators, even though we have programmers, we will never equal a full team of developers, uh, enough metrics developers that will uh, provide very tools to do best fit to do a datum a references and so on so first example a side-by-side -side vehicle inspection so that was a quality control uh, project so basically the uh, the need was that they, they 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 do the frames it was for frame inspection so they do the frames uh, at, with different steps different process and after each sub-assembly, they would have a sampling, uh, sampling rate and then bring the, uh, the part to the CMM, inspect it, and then bring it back on the line, and so on for each stage. So the feedback loop was many minutes, if not hours, between if something is caught between, before they can actually react. So the main problem is, of course, eye inspection time. CMM uh, was, was quite slow, a very low sampling frequency, and the cost of repair, because if you catch a defect an hour later, well, you have to go back and make sure that the last hour of production uh, is uh, trouble-free. So what we provided, and you'll see it uh, on the next slide, a little video, is we mounted a Nikon laser radar uh, on an overhead conveyor and it just moves automatically from one station to another all day long, scanning station one, station two, station three. So it's a real in-process measurement, has a high uh, sampling frequency, and of course you can detect uh, defects much, uh, much faster. They had, I'd say, probably above 200 measures they wanted to do. Over the entire cycle, we will do the, the 200 uh, measures but there were 20 or so critical measures where we actually do 100% inspection of every single part. So in terms of uh, hardware and software, it included Polyworks for real-time measurements and point cloud, 
actually the point cloud digitizing was, uh, was an icon laser radar with high accuracy. And AGT basically created the bond and uh, the entire uh, infrastructure, the conveyor and everything and uh, the, the, the full system so all the subsystem can, uh, can speak one to another. So once again, using PolyWorks in line along with fast and precise 3D scanners, much higher sampling rate, no operators needed, easy to add and automate new inspections. So the way we usually work with our customers, they want to own their system. So we'll provide uh, a starting kit of macros and inspections and provide training as well. And then the customer can uh, take ownership of the system and add more macros and more inspections later on in the process. So that was the first example. Second example, um, the product we call the Bridge Master, the virtual laydown. So that, it doesn't have a real scale, but that's as big as uh, three times the stage here. So it's a complete unit, two robots. Cause it, we had two, um, two tasks to do with this system, to automatically weld the accessories and the stiffeners on the bridge girders. So that was a robotic welding side of it. And the second task was to do the virtual laydown. So the final installation is a 450 feet long rail. And that green monster there is just traveling on that rail digitizing the beam and welding as well. So for some of you who don't know exactly, uh, well, we all, we've all seen bridges and overpass, but the way it works is they, uh, the, the fabricators of, of girders, they will fabricate uh, that, that entire steel beam together and they have to actually fit them together to respect the proper camber based on the concrete uh, support. Uh, so overall, uh, by aligning all the different girders, they will make it to the second concrete stand because if they don't, they're in big trouble. <laughs> and we're in big trouble if you drive a car that... <laughs> so the way they did it manually is basically they had to recreate a section of the bridge in their shop. So one bridge girder can be as, almost as long as the entire room here. So they had to put two, sometimes three together. So what they, they, they did to, to make the proper camber is they drill only one side of, the, of one girder. Then they, they take the second one, they align it, and remember that this is like 100, 200 tons pieces. So it takes hours just to align them, measure them, make sure they have the proper camber, and then they have a pre-drilled plate that they will fit it. They will mark the holes on them and then send someone with a magnetic drill to do all the drills, all of that physically. So the solution and most of the payback of that entire system, and that was also a multi-million system, was on the virtual laydown side of it. So what we provided is instead of recreating the bridge inside their shop, we say, okay, just manufacture one girder at a time, pre-drill everything, so using standard CNC and plasma, plasma cutting table, so that's pretty easy. They just use the, uh, the DXF files that comes out of their drawings. And we'll scan them, and instead of physically doing the laydown, will virtually do the laydown, and that's how, why, um, how we use PolyWorks. So we virtually fit both girders. So actually, they, they just fabricate one, they ship it, or they put it uh, away, so they only have one girder at a time. We scan everything, and once the second girder has been scanned as well, we virtually fit them together and create a custom-made joining plate for every pair of girders. So virtually, we know the bridge is fine. The plate, instead of being done magnetic uh, with uh, drills manually with guys uh, working uh, uh, on, the, on the bridge girder itself, they're just done manually using the, the plasma cutting table and their existing equipment as well. So basically, 
You don't need to position the second girder on the right camber. You don't need to position the plate. You don't need to mark the second girder. You don't need to drill with manual tools. And just with that, that was sufficient to justify buying a multi-million uh, machine. So another way of seeing it, uh, video. So we use the Nikon scanner to scan the tip. And actually also, we scan the tip at a very high resolution and then the rest of the girder at a lower, lower resolution. We compare with CAD. We do the virtual fitting and then we generate a custom DXF file for each joining plate. So basically the key benefits, you don't need to manually fit the girders. The girders can be manufactured and shipped as they are produced, because basically the way they, they, uh, they erect the, uh, the bridges is they will go uh, like in, the, in the same direction as the road but in the manufacturing facility, they would typically manufacture everything longitudinally to make sure that it fits, so it, there was a, a difference there. We use all the Polyworks function for best fitting and, uh, and, uh, and so on. Last example, um, a nice project. So once again, uh, you see the, uh, the, the size of the, uh, I can just go back here. You see the size of the part, so big hydraulic turbines, where they approached us because they wanted to automate the whole cutting process. So, okay, cutting the cutting steel with plasma torch and a robot, that's okay, that's fine. But where to cut, that's, that's the, the, the tough part about it. So their challenge basically is to automate the whole cutting process. They had holes at a bevel as well. And you also have huge part that have huge tolerances. So we're not in the uh, millimeter range. We're in the uh, quarter of an inch to half an inch millimeter tolerances on diameters, on circumferences uh, of the, the entire pieces. The holes are pretty accurate, but the entire piece can be uh, crooked a little. So we need metrology system to locate the hole, well, to locate the part in order to, uh, to match the unperfect, the, the measured part with the CAD part. So basically the solution was to provide a robotic system. The part is put on a huge turntable and the robot picks up a 3D scanner. That was our own design for, for this application. Picks a 3D scanner, scans the entire part. While doing that or beforehand, a uh, robotic programmer uses an offline programming software called Robot Master, where you can actually, actually teach uh, all the movements of the robots. But it's when you program a robot that way, it's done uh, using the perfect nominal CAD part. So the challenge was actually to scan the part, the measured part, and then modify each robot trajectory to do exactly what it needs to do, but with the, uh, the non-perfect part. So that's what we did. So that's what I just explained. The entire robot cutting program was done using Robot Master, an offline programming software. The part was completely scanned in 3D. Using Polyworks, the metrology was done to locate the holes on the real piece and to match to do the best fit on the entire piece. And uh, our teams of uh, our team of programmers we basically did all the software to manage the sequence the automatic sequence and make sure that uh, the correction were done properly so the key benefits use of best fit on a very large part a, com a somewhat complex analysis made pretty simple and uh, compatible with AGT made 3D scanner uh, so typically we would buy some scanners from Faro, from uh, Nikon, from Creaform, but in, in that case we needed uh, really a dedicated 3D scanner and we were able to write a driver for Polyworks as well. So in conclusion, two things to remember. Polyworks can be used in much more uh, application than just reverse engineering and quality control and manual reporting. We use it since 2003 for automated solutions. So Polyworks can be integrated in automated application to do complex 3D metrology.